All those in favour say aye. aye. Those against? The motion is carried. The clause now is at question two, Stamper. The Honourable Trevor Mallon. And Mr Chairman, I, I want to reiterate to the Government Whip in particular, if we get these questions asked, answered, then the debate's finished. If the questions that the Opposition are asking are answered, not in the way that I heard the Minister answer before, but in a straight questions, straight answers, if they are properly answered by the Minister, then as far as the Labour opposition is concerned, I can't speak for the other parties, then this debate will be completed. There have been a series of questions that have been asked. They are serious questions. They go, you know, absolute the commencement date, you know, we're under a you know, we're under a, a lot of we're under a lot of pressure to get this through. They go to when it when it starts. The, the legislation could probably actually come into effect, um, or it comes into effect, it says, on the 15th, 15th of December. It could come into effect earlier than that um, if, the, if the government wanted to and gave straight answers. And I want the minister to give the straight answers to it. Um, I'm, not, I'm not the slightest bit interested in Mr Sabin after his reprehensible behaviour um, giving answers to the questions that have been asked. So I, I, I do want to ask about the activity question, whether, whether it affects whether this will capture individuals who um, are involved in match fixing if they are currently offshore if the activity is in New Zealand. Now what, what, is, what is the territorial basis for this, for the activity for the procurement and for the betting. Is a centre bet, bet count if it's made from New Zealand? Is a bet in the local pub count if it's made from New Zealand? If it's an activity in New Zealand and it's procured from Australia and the bet is in India, is that captured? Who is captured? Is it, is it only the people in New Zealand or is it the people who are involved offshore? Uh, are, they, are they captured uh, as well? Uh, Mr. Mr Chairman, I, I do want to also uh, ask uh, around the ICC um, whether they were consulted and what their response was. I, I know that New Zealand cricket, you know, I mean, one of the advantages of being a former minister is you do get a little bit of feedback um, uh, from, from organisations. Uh, and I know that New Zealand cricket was certainly consulted, but was the ICC consulted and are they satisfied that this does enough? And even more importantly, are the people who are really pulling the strings in international cricket, do they care? Do the people who are running, um, obviously um, you know, not the New Zealanders involved, but are the people uh, from the subcontinent who are involved in this area do they actually care, or is there, are there so many people on the take in this particular area that they actually encourage some of this approach? Um, what consultation has there been with the sports broadcasting organisations, including the international uh, broadcasters, especially around the timing issues? Um, I, th I think all of us. All of us know that uh, on occasions, uh, the way that modern television occurs, there is a slight delay. There is sometimes a slight delay, and it's, it's done around fitting advertisements in at the end of the over, or during the, during the ends of the overs, but it means that the timing is not, exact, is not exactly right. And the question then goes to, what are the, um, you know, have there been consultations uh, in that area, and, and if so, what are the results of those consultations? Because, of course, a very slight delay gives a massive opportunity for spot fixing. No, it just has to be 30 seconds and, and millions of rupees uh, can, be, uh, can be won or lost uh, as a result of a spot fixing approach where the result is certain to everyone other than the uh, people who are taking the, well, for, not to everyone, but the people who are taking the bets don't know 
um, about the exact result in this area. So I, I go back to the Minister uh, and I go back to the Government Whips and say, um, are you prepared to answer the questions or would you like to continue, would the members opposite like to continue this debate um, at, a, uh, at, a, at a clause an hour uh, when in fact we'd be prepared to wrap it up in two minutes?